Welcome back everyone to the Thousand Week Reich mod, in which I'm your host, Hungarian Mokolov. And right now, we've just finished Hungary in the 21st century. Hungary of the future. Progress is not an easy process. And Hungary shall look or look beyond the current situation in hopes of a greater future. In a speech addressing the nation, Isvan Horth used optimism as Hungary's motto, promising that not only would Hungary enter the 21st century stronger than ever, the 21st century will start, the, start with Hungary. Hungary shall become a regional powerhouse, and eventually become a global nation that could stand up as a shining example of her neighbors. Wow. Long live Hungary. That is some really big boots to fill. Holy crap. A global superpower? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd love to see Hungary become a thicky power, but I'm not sure that's really going to be what we can do relatively soon. But I would like to get through at least the entire focus tree before the end of the campaign. This feels very, very weird now. Was it like this last time? Was everything in the same, like, sort of top row? I thought we had stuff, like, down here as well. Am I going crazy? I might be going crazy. Um, okay, whatever. Cool. Let's go ahead and do Hungarian Blitzkrieg uh, production stuff. Nothing here for production. Hungarian Air Force, we'll get there too. Let's start handling the refugees. The refugees that are currently residing in our nation have been left in a state of limbo. Under the government's vision, these refugees should be handled accordingly under the guidances of our policies. So, also off screen, what has happened is that Yugoslavia took out Albania. And actually, they have Bulgaria with them as well, so... Uh, yeah, Zog is here, and they are a puppet of Yugoslavia. So, I asked you guys yesterday, what we should do about the refugee crisis? Should we give them minimal shelter, or should we use them as work... working Or workers as work individuals? Should we just utilize them? Oh, man, words are hard. And overall, there's more support for us to... Utilize the refugees. A consistent stream of refugees means a consistent source of manpower. Manpower that could be used on expanding Hungary's workforce. At the same time, these refugees will enjoy the benefits of relative economic stability, becoming functional members of our society, in which we get 10% more stability and 5% more factory output. Now, I also asked you guys yesterday whether we should or should not... Oh, we get subs control in Upper Hungary. Cool. We should probably do that. Oh, we should also do this too. We can only invest in this during peacetime. We should probably do that. I think we'll be okay for now. Weapons development, kickstart nuclear research. More than 50 civilian factories uh, is considered a major. This nation is capable of nuclear research. Uh, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should align with the states or Italy. Overall, there's support for both sides, but there's more support for us to actually go with Italy. But someone did say we should wait just a moment because uh, we should maybe see how the United States as well as Italy performs in an actual war before signing our bodies over to their you know, faction or whatever, so that's probably a good idea just to kind of wait and see how they perform, so that's a pretty good idea. So I'm probably going to go with Italy, but we'll see, we'll see We'll see. what happens. Do we not have any, well, we can't really afford it, uh, wartime cast fighters, wartime stuff, I kind of want to go with cast, unless we already are making planes, bombers, what is this, fighters, and we've got some what's here. We got wartime cast, alright, then I guess I'll go with that. Large jet stuff. Uh, grab some interceptors. I, I don't like using interceptors because it confused me. So, <laughs> that's why I'm not going to use them. I just, I don't know. It's, it's somewhat confusing. But we do have some more comments to go through as well. How are the refugees? They're doing actually pretty darn well. I think I, I want to do this one first before we do this stuff. But this stuff would be, uh, just do it anyways. What else are we going to do with the PP, right? Oh, we got some... Wow, 0. 0.32 every single day. Jeez Louise, that is so bad. Holy bad words. Helicopter engines, why not? And basic anti-tank with better anti-tank. Okay, up next. So, uh, someone says, when are we going to play as National Democratic Poland in the Thousand Week Reich mod? I have no idea. I, I need to play this mod a little bit more for me to actually, you know, know exactly what can happen. But Jewish labor divisions... I love Jewish labor divisions. Look at that. They got the star there too. That's so cool. During Germany's advance into Russia, Hungary conscripted the help of Jewish labor battalions. While they faced harsh treatment in the hands of the Germans, the Hungarian government now seeks to regain the Jewish population's trust by forming an auxiliary unit of Jews. I love it. Special forces? Well, I don't think that really would be good for us. Uh, this seems like it's better for us just in general because we don't have any Marines, so... Elite Marines sound cool. We don't really have a coast load to really use them, so... It is what it is. Let's see. Up next. When am I going to play as the Labor UK path in Thousand Week Reich? I, I, I couldn't tell you. I have no idea. Like I've said before, there's so many different mods and just stuff going on that I don't have time to go do as much as I would like to. 
especially especially when I want to do some of my own personal stuff like uh, projects that I want to get started and start doing so like I don't have enough time to even do that stuff and I would really like to get to that stuff and have, have the motivation to accomplish some other stuff that's you know not so much always based on Hoi 4 on the channel or even just stuff on the channel like my own personal stuff that I would like to do anyways uh, let's see how big is our industry now that we, at the beginning we saw that our GDP was 10th in the world we're now ninth, so we have risen just a little bit, but of course we're competing against a lot of other people. Uh, it does help that we took just a little bit of territory as well. Uh, Russian Republic, um, we're right below the Russian Republic. I mean, look at that. Italy, Russian Republic. Now we need four more score, and they'll be above the Russians. If we get ten, well actually, then they're, they're quite a bit below Italy, and then France. Of course, you can look up the numbers. China's third largest power in the world. Go figure. Cool. And after Jewish labor divisions, how about a new generation so we get some more stability, war support, and manpower? With plenty of young refugees, enforcing a policy of Hungarian education would mean a brand new generation of Hungarian speakers, or even a generation of patriotic, spiritual Hungarians. How? Why not? And we could choose this one, but I don't really want to choose it. I really don't. Ooh, factories, yes. Tanks sound nice. Minority mili military formation. With their decision of putting these refugees to better use, volunteers from neighboring fascist regimes have formed a military formation, loyal to the Hungarian government. This formation is made up of ethnic Hungarians, Croats, Bosnians, and many other minorities that have escaped to our nation. Service guarantees citizenship. Nice. That's actually really cool. Oh, they're a light, uh, light combat with... No, oh, no, 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 no. This minority division? No, no, no. You're going to be equipped just like all the other divisions. You're not, they're not that different or special. Everyone's special in their own little ways, but you know what? I think I think you know what I mean. Uh, other comments says, let's see. Yeah, wait to see how Italy and USA handle themselves in a war. Uh, to invade our neighbors it, with this focus issue that Hungary has, it sounds like we really need to lose the war against Romania, in which we'd probably end up losing all of Transylvania, really. So, I don't, so really, if we wanted to really go down the fascist or national socialist or nationalist daddies route, we got to lose this first, and then with this focus tree, because as someone did say, this sounds very revanchist. Uh, Don democracy, not that one, but where is that stuff? I mean, I guess we have the refugees over there, but well, these decisions that we have sound very revanchist in terms of you know getting more territory and such. So it is what it is. Let's see, which it's pretty easy to do, but the Budapest defense pocket. The threat of war is slowly encroaching on Hungary's borders. Therefore, the military is now pushing for a fortification of Budapest. However, with a limited time and a limited budget, the so-called Budapest defense pocket will focus on the weaker flank, giving the government two options on which flank should receive the most attention. Northern? Southern? Wow, set so land for level to nine. I'm going to go with a southern approach for northern Hungary, right? No, let's go with the northern approach, because that's pretty close, because these guys... So these have already four. Jeez, that's that's pretty strong. So we're gonna go with the northern approach near Slovakia. So, all right, we have level nine in Budapest. Oh, man, bad words. A lot of bad words. That's actually really oh, wow. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I guess see, fighter CVs because we focus on carriers a lot. Uh, someone asked, what is this mod? Well, this mod is called Thousand Week Reich. In which, what if Germany won World War II, but what if Japan still lost to America, and what if the communists lost to the uh, Republican Chinese? Chen Cheng. Hello, Chen Cheng. Cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's the same focus. You can see everything that's gonna that could happen. The Vietnamese shame. I have played as China once, and we did beat the Vietnamese pretty darn easily. Like, really, it wasn't that difficult to beat the Vietnamese, if you know what you're doing. So, it is what it is. And then we shall have higher refugee intellectuals. Out of these refugees, many of them are trained professionals, possessing skills that are valuable to the Hungarian regime. Therefore, the government should utilize these experts to further improve Hungary's standing in the world. Of course, we should. Helicopter engines, cool. Let's grab some experimental helicopters, because we can. Very cool. Uh, ne what's next? Yeah, there's a lot of bugs in the mod. I mean, there's not, like, an extreme amount, but there you can definitely tell that there's still bugs. Someone said that, like, I was supposed to get Transylvania, maybe? Maybe, maybe not? I mean, I would have... Honestly, if we win the war against Romania, we really at least should have gotten at least, at least a little sliver, a little something-something from them. Like, sure, we got war reps, because we literally did with that national spirit, but... We should have got at least a little something, something. But yeah, there's other mods, or the mod sells other bugs. Like apparently someone tried to play as Democratic Yugoslavia and then collapsed on him or something and crashed. What happened to Montenegro? Huh. Okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah, someone says we need a king in Hungary. And maybe next time I play as Hungary. Next time, I, if I play as Hungary, I'll probably end up losing the war. I'll just lose the war just because we can. And then we'll see what we can do with that. Let's see. Do more Thousand Week Reich. Do more of this mod. Um, yeah, I, I don't mind doing more of this mod. That is, this mod has can be a lot of fun. I wouldn't say it's my favorite mod, but it, it can have its its own charm, we'll say. It has its own charm. We'll put it like that. Gas. Thank you. And let's see. When am I going to play as Victoria to Austria? 
or Austrian Empire, or you know, Austro -Hung Austria Hungary. Um, I'm not sure. I'll be honest. Like, I really don't know. The problem. Well, I'll, I'll talk about Vicky once we get the next one done. Next focus. So we're done with this. We're done with that. Uh, we have the Air Force. Let's do the General Staff. The Budapest General Staff will become an instrumental apparatus of the state to ensure that every single branch, corps, and division is working in tandem with the other. Whether we want for mobile or traditional warfare does not matter. What we do know is that a well-coordinated front line will be needed to easily win an upcoming war. So the problem with Victoria 2 for me is that with Hoi 4, things move pretty darn quickly. Especially with how long I make my videos now. Um, it's just Vicky 2... Like, you don't see, like, I sometimes upload, like, a half-hour video, sometimes even, like, 20-minute video on Vicky 2, just because it takes so long off-screen to get to something where it's actually somewhat interesting and or events happen, so that's the reason why I don't do a continuous, like, Vicky 2 campaigns, because it just takes so long off-screen sometimes to get kind of going and developing what we do because early game you know you always like to expand save scum a little bit colonize a little bit you know just take over tribal nations primitives whatever but then middle game comes it's okay okay so things start to speed up a little bit more and late game is just it can be a real slog and vicky 2 just waiting for things to happen waiting to win like the great war and stuff so i love vicky 2 but sometimes it just takes a lot of time it just sometimes really takes a lot of time to get through it so i sometimes need to take breaks from certain mods certain games obviously i don't take a break from holy 4 but you know I think you understand. Cool. Support artillery. Why not? And how much support equipment do we have? Not a lot. Artillery just got a lot worse. I don't mind throwing field hospitals on here just because we don't have only so much manpower. So uh, but let's do the Hungarian Air Force. Just like the rest of our armed forces, the Air Force leaves much to be desired. While not much, while not in as much of a dire situation like some of our neighbors, the Air Force must be prepared for total war as the age of the jet sets in and slowly diminishes the role of infantry in warfare. Cool. Uh, cool. So, yeah. I love Vicky 2, but it just takes so long. It just takes a very long time. It looks like we just made some more divisions, which is actually really, really nice. Uh, let's cut that down, too. And tanks. Uh, I don't like this division. I really don't. I prefer this one. I threw on, you know, a main battle tank. Obviously, we don't have enough main battle tanks as is, but, you know, whatever. Oh, APC is looking not too bad. Let's get rid of these motorized. We could really use more army XP, though. Not bad. Main battle tanks are... That's not bad, too. 38? That's not bad. I mean, uh, we don't have enough army XP. I'm not sure there's... I think... You know You can tell from the title of this video. I can't. This is probably going to be the last episode in the, for playing as Hungry, just because, like I said, there's not a whole lot here. So, and we're going to keep trying to build up our uh, GDP. Maybe we can get up to 8th in the world. I think that would be a good goal. So right here, oh, there's 66.5. I don't know. The Russian Republic is continuing to like expand and take over other states. So we'll see what happens. We have the Hungarian Air Force. Uh, let's see. The new generation of pilots. Currently, our Air Force is dominated by the old guard of people who still remember the days of Austria-Hungarian biplanes. As such, they refuse to adopt new methods of training and strategy. Instead, opted for some more of the time-tested methods. As our own and our enemy's technology progresses to the age of the jet, it will become apparent that we require a new wave of young pilots to fly these young planes. Makes sense. Let's see. Ah, work time guess. Guess. I hope so. I'm just letting technology go. I mean, it's, it's not super important right now, so there you go. We can do that. And the next focus we shall do will probably be the Hungary's Lufafa. Okay, cool. If all things go well for Hungary, our aerial successes may soon be equivalent to the early Luftwaffe of Germany, who pushed the limits of what was considered acceptable for aerial warfare. Hungary must take this mantle from the Germans, as internal strife continues to diminish the role of the Luftwaffe in Germany. Cool, so I'm wondering right now, like, if Germany falls apart and has a little kerfuffle, a little, little, little war, do we have any sort of option of, like, saying who we would want to, can we send, like, volunteers, can we send supplies to the various factions that rise up within Germany? Um, I think that'd be really cool as an option in the game. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Just, they all send them stuff. Radicals increase activity. Recently, the fascists and Volksbund have increased their activity in Hungary, arranging frequent meetings to attract more followers. Keep an eye out on them. Um... I'm not sure what we can really do about that. By the end, we'll, we'll choose probably Italy by the end, but we'll see what happens. New generation of pilots. Hungary's Luftwaffe. Very cool. And Gotland. You look a little brighter or grayer than normal, but I guess you might have been taken out. Okay. Cool. 
After that one, we should develop the aviation industry. Due to the highly traditional militarized nature of our state, we do not exactly have the best investments in aviation research or production. This cannot go on for any longer. We require a strong military, and this includes the Air Force. Military research departments will be encouraged to transition from industry and rifles and onto the weapons of the future. Which looks like we get some better production costs for about a year, or, hundred, or half a year, really, and get a military factory. Now, we don't have a Navy, but if you like to read about the Naval stuff, please go right ahead. Like, there's the first one, Hungarian Navy, so... And, let's see, we can choose that one because we can. Experimental helicopters, let's go with early helicopters because we can. And the crease, okay, whatever. So, uh, let's look at the rest of this one. Transforming our river fleet, looks really cool. Oh, we get a lot of technologies. Four ships from the river forces into an ocean-ready naval warship, cool. There's dockyards for Hungary as well. And then you also have the Hungarian Doctrine. Double 50% bonus for naval doctrine, cool. But we must do this one very soon, which is in 12 days. Not bad. And we have some more research done soon. Cool. Uh, yeah. Not a whole lot here. We're doing pretty well on all of our stuff, except artillery and tanks. But hey, what else is new? Even mean battle tanks aren't looking too bad. I could really use a guy who gets us more daily army XP game, but that's probably just me. And a few more days. We got Marines. Maybe we'll get some Mountaineers. Those are pretty useful. Large scale jet engines, strategic bombers. Why not? All right. Let's see. Fighter shipment, shall we? No matter how fast we industrialize, we will not be able to build up our Air Force fast enough to compete with some of the older or other powers. We must find a way to accomplish a sudden influx of modern fighter planes. If a few dozen German fighters were to go missing, it may help accomplish some of our logistical demands faster. Now, this is very interesting. Now, I did want to go to war with these guys, and they are fighting those guys, but... Hmm... What happens if we... You know what? I think these guys will probably do okay by themselves anyways. What are the tanks up to? Are they doing okay? I do want to get in at least some sort of war, so I guess we might as well just go ahead and join Italy. Uh, if they say no. Accept! Accepted our request for greater cooperation. We got more political power. Awesome. Can we join your little conflict? Because I would like to help beat up people. Uh. Wait. Uh, oh, there it goes. Enjoy the Mediterranean Union. Cool. You get the national spirit, Mediterranean Union. Consumer goods goes down. Production cap. Uh, growth goes up as well as base. Trade deal factory goes up. Nice. And that'd be really bad if they said no. Are we, no, we're not in it. The new old one looks pretty good, though. I think I played as Germany once, and I made that like the giant, like, Reichskommissariat. Can I not? Guys, let me join. Yugoslavia is not doing well. Or you got Croatia's not doing well. Let me join. What the heck? Let me join. <laughs> dudes, dudes. You're fighting Bulgaria too. I can help you out. I don't want to send that stuff because I want to course some stuff, but guys, let me in. Let me in. Why can't I join? Spanish German friendship. A shocking turn of events, alright. Um okay, fire shipment. Mm. No matter how fast we industrialize, we'll not be able to build up to our Air Force. Yeah, I think we're ready right this one, so. Cool. I can't join? Air to ground doctrine. Just like the Luftwaffe, there goes Albania. The founding doctrine of our new Air Force will be cooperation between the land and air components of our military. Land success will be guaranteed and assisted by aerial warfare and prove to the, our enemies that Hungary will adapt to the future. For air to ground doctrine. Nice. 29% world tension. That's actually not that much. Oh, oh they're coming back, though. Yep, Italy is... Slowly moving. Guys, I, I only joined you so I could come to the war, man. Come on. Flying formation is cool and all, but... Guys, please. Why don't you love me? We still get point three two. Jesus, that's so bad. Ah, uh, That really sucks. I'm, I'm excited to go to war, but they won't let me. They won't let us. Wait. Bosnia? Um. Wow. Right, hold on. Before they die. They have a kind of a cool flag. Mehmed Hanzik. Do they have unique focus tree? Oh, they don't. Oh, that's sad. Republic of Bosnia, huh? Guys, let me in. Let me in. Oh, there goes Bosnia. Oh. Italy. <laughs> Did Italy literally just take that from Croatia? Oh, man. 
I gotta place Croatia. Oh, those sounds are overthrown. Oh. Republic of Croatia. They're still a puppet, but okay. Air to ground doctrine. Guys, guys. Why can't I join the war? Okay. Uh, now they have this back, but it's not a core. I gotta place Croatia sometime, though. That sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds crazy. Sounds a little difficult, but... Blessings from the church. Renewed Greater Croatia. Well, that's kind of cool. Mountain stuff. Paratroopers, because we can. And then street tactical bombers, because we can. Guys, please, let me come in. No. Oh, I guess we're... Wow, we have no manpower, though. Uh, Parachutist Division. The natural conclusion for air domination is exploitation of friendly skies to bring about... Surround a surprise infantry attack through modern parachutist ways. A singular spear, uh, specialized parachute division will show what is possible and demonstrate our willingness to bring Hungary into the second half of the century. Cool. Mussolini's dead. Oh boy. He's dead. Oh boy. That, I chose the wrong faction to join. Gosh darn it. Bad words all around. So who's leading uh, Italy? Not us. Umberto. Oh, that makes sense. I guess Umberto the second. I got to play Italy sometime too. I'm sure I said that before though. So I've got plenty of guns. Tanks, not great. APC is coming along. Anti-tank. Let's do two, because I want to go down to three. Radicals increase. Oh, I mean, there's not much I can do about that. I mean, yeah, we're losing this every day, but still. Uh, we probably stop making infantry divisions, maybe, for now? Maybe? Hmm. Guys, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to go. I know you don't need me in, but call me in, guys. Call me in. There we go. All right, parachutists. God, that was. Let me go. I can. I can take out news. I can do it. I can do it. Come on. Now. Now. I just wanted to help out, man. Hey, the kingdom of Yugoslavia is here. That's kind of cool. And Albania's probably. Oh, Albania. So Kara Kemalbej of Albania. All right, and we have the Mizraj Logic. Siano takes. Siano, Galizio. Let's see, Oceano. Oh, they have a generic focus tree. Oh, that sucks. Histro. Oh, you have a generic focus tree. Oh. You kind of got some chubby cheeks here and a little butt chin, huh? Siano, you sound very familiar. I don't think I've ever played as you. Totally not ever in another mod that starts also with T. A la Latoria. Early helicopters. Wow, that looks. Uh. That's not a helicopter. But okay. Scout Heli Uno. Alright. Combined Blitz Arenas. Oh, we're done with the land doctrine. Yeah, why does this take so long? Did, there's literally no artillery development between 1950 to 1970, I guess, in real life. I guess. I don't know. But well, let's do Hungarian Blitzkrieg. The inevitable conclusion to our experiments in expansion and mobile warfare is not one too dissimilar to what the Germans underwent decades ago. Hungarian warfare and the fate of the nation itself will be determined by fast-moving and precise battles. Not only will this require soldiers and tank crews, but... Also, our artillery men and airmen to win these battles. We get Hungarian Blitzkrieg, we get 5% more speed, we get 10% more division armor attack, and more motorized attack, as well as mechanized attack, which is not too bad. That might literally be the last focus here for us to do. There's really not much else to do once the first war or so is done, so. Um, cool. Oh, aviation industry, 12 combat width. They have, that's not bad, but I want the manpower. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> ah, this is so sad. We try to join, but we can't. Why? Why do you think I'll break my heart like that? At least let me beat up Romania again or something like that. The reorganized Hellenic state. That's actually kind of scary that Spain joined them. Oh. Francisco Franco. Do you have, do you have a unique focus tree, huh? Oh. Th there's so much here that you can do. And, and at least in terms of different nations. Maybe not different paths for each nation, but there's so many different nations you can play on in, in Osmic Reich, so... I'll probably keep my eye on it and see what happens. Are we still at where we're at? Oh, we went down! Oh, the Japanese! Ah. Oh, that sucks. Why not? Uh, we are 10th. Romania is just right on our heels. Followed by Poland, is that? Oh, no, Indonesia. Followed by Indonesia. Well, Hungarian Blitzkrieg, that's it for this. Um, I, I think that's it for us. There's really not much else here. It's 1960, of course. We start the world in 1952, so... It is what it is. Combat unit destruction is cool. And now we get a lot more PP, but... There's really not much else. And, and radicals, I mean... I'm not sure if radicals are really supposed to keep increasing, especially after we've already chosen to go democratic. 
But there's one thing I want to do before we end this here. Um, I want to control Upper Hungary. I mean, I don't really want to wait. I'm just gonna use, I can just use console commands. Do I have anything in console commands? I don't have anything here, so. Here. There we go. Oh, wait, that takes 300 days? Holy crap! 300 days? To make Western Slovakia a core? And, wait, which one, which part of the Urals was it? Oh, we can do packs, why not? Uh, Northern Urals. Um, well, it is 1960, so. Northern Urals. Not in Northern Hungary. No, 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 no. Northern Urals. So, we could core this, which only has 55,000 people, compared to Northern Hungary. Right? It's supposed to be Northern Hungary. 4.4 .4 million, right? Uh, so, I guess that's probably going to be it for us, because there's literally not much else we can do here. We're, we're done with the focuses, so... I guess that's done, which means we can move on to a different campaign, which sounds like a lot of fun. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this somewhat shorter episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.